We interrupt your regularly scheduled home vlog to bring you a special Meyer Markers episode where we get back to our roots. No, not these roots, which do need some attention, but our roots in the fact that we started off being a theme park vlog family. Today is Wednesday, July 29th, day 138, and I am heading to one of our favorite places that we haven't been able to go to due to the recent conditions. But today is the day that we are going back into the theme park, the water park specifically, because the theme park is not open yet. However, the two water parks near us are open. So, I am going to be going to Hurricane Harbor today. I'm just gonna walk around, see how their spatial distancing is, see how their food lines are, see how the ride lines are. Just overall, see what the capacity is like, and maybe get a bite to eat. And I've got my drink cup ready to go as well. So today is gonna to be such a fantastic day. Just being in the theme park, I don't even have to ride on any rides or go in any water, but just being in the theme park is gonna probably feel so amazing after so long. So let's go check it out. I see the giant drop and the raging bull over the trees. It's so exciting. Now the question is if the Six Flags Drive entrance is open, so that's the way that I'm hoping to go through the back way underneath American Eagle. But that's only if it is actually available. And it does not look like it is. So we are gonna have to go the other way. So we do have to use the Grand Avenue entrance, which is the main entrance. And here's the main entrance. You no longer have to stop on just a green light. You're allowed to pull up and turn left on green when there is no traffic coming, of course. Here's the main drive heading up by Superman. See what the parking lot looks like. And which parking entrances are open. Okay, looks like they have very few entrances open. I wonder if the other side, it looks like the other side is open. I'm going to throw my mask on. Hello, we are going up here and finding where the membership line is. And it is right straight ahead here. So I'm going to need my phone again to get into this parking area because I have my reservation on my phone. I am so nervously excited to be here. It is unbelievable because this is our home park. This is where we used to come all the time, but it's just so different nowadays. Last summer we lived at the water park and now this is my first time going to the water park. Let me get out of the car and I'll show you guys the parking lot so you can see how many cars are here so the parking lot over there it looks pretty full but i don't think it extends very far since the water park is the only thing open no one's here for the theme park so all these cars are just for the water park this is the membership parking which i'm like the furthest back this is all that there is in here so let's head on up and we'll see what it's like going through the check-in and see what it's like inside. One thing to note is that they used to have a, an entrance to the water park only over here by where the membership parking is, but it looks like that is closed off now. 
I'm assuming they just want to keep it to a minimum of exposure. Here is a shot of the parking lot. Most of the cars are just lined up in the first row going all the way across by the main entrance. So there really isn't that many cars around. There's the guest services, which is open. There's the main entrance. It does not look like they have very many lanes open, but I was told that they are working at a 25% capacity. So there is only 25% of just the water park allowed inside. So they are probably not expecting a lot of people to be in here. An area you can buy a mask if you don't have one. Oh, and it's all, you guys have mask theme to your, to your characters. That's awesome. Line forming. So we have to go through here. Sanitize here. First step through here is for a check. Is this the new, like, checking for... This takes temperature. Oh, this does take temperature. Oh, wow. That's some high-tech stuff right there. I know. It's the, it's the day and age. So that machine takes temperatures. And then this is for metal Hi, detection. Okay. Doing well. How are you? Okay, just walk right on through. Thank you. Thank you for being here. No problem. You too, thank you. Another sanitized sta hand sanitizer station. Clear markings on the ground. Hello. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Do you also need my um, reservation? Nope. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, we are in the park. Nothing's running, but we're in the park. This is so exciting. Carousel and the pond. Oh, how I miss the more masks. And we've got capes. Hello. Thank you for being here. There's another hand sanitizer station right there. A hand washing station there. They've definitely got a lot of washing areas to make sure that everything stays sanitized. Since we're here, let's pop into Victory Lane Shop. They've got Six Flags merch, two for 20 shirts, Six Flags tumblers, all the stuffed animals and pillows. Oh, it feels so good to be in a store again. Sweatshirts, even though it is 80 something degrees, so not really sweatshirt weather right now. More sweatshirts. It does get cold around here. A Max Force shirt. More Max Force merch. <laughs> this is definitely the Max Force store. <laughs> Six Flags Great America Goliath. Raging Bull, one of my faves. General Six Flags Great America shirt. I might have to stop in here on the way out and I might have to get a t-shirt. Six Flags, established in 1976. And the candies, which my kids can't leave without candy. <laughs> so as I said before, they are working at a 25% capacity. And the person that I spoke to believes that they are capping the amount of members with passes and memberships to come in so that there is opportunity for daily ticket holders to get into the park as well. Even though the actual theme park isn't open, they do have some food places open. Member services over there is open as well. And although the theme park itself isn't open yet, I just wanted to show how empty it is walking over to the water park. Another hand sanitizer station. I might see about getting my drink cup refilled here, see if they do that. And another hand sanitizer station right outside. While they aren't filling up our cups, they did scan my pass and I got a drink. So I am going to pour it in. I need two hands. See if I can sneak it. <laughs> there you go. Don't even have to take off a mask to drink your drink. <laughs> So while it is only 80 degrees, I am kind of warm. Uh, the mask does make it a little bit warmer, obviously. 
but it's not unbearable. I mean, I definitely don't think I could do this all day. One thing about the water park is they are not requiring that people wear their masks while on rides or in the water, which you're spending a lot of time in the water. So I'm not quite sure how it's how people are going to protect themselves. We'll have to see how the distancing is in the actual pools. They do have a border put up, so you cannot go up through County Fair. So we have to go into Southwest Territory, which is where the water park entrance is from inside the park. So this is the way that we are heading. We still don't have anyone around us at this moment. Again, the theme park itself is not open though. We have another hand sanitizing station and we haven't even gotten to where the actual people are and they've already got so much. I wonder if they're getting ready to open the park. This is definitely something that I plan to try today with the mobile food ordering. So on the Six Flags app, which I do have, you just have to go into the restaurant area and click what you're ordering. So we're gonna try that and see how it works. It's due to health and safety policies that certain attractions may not be operating or have limited operations. Right next to another hand washing station. Right around the corner, same sign and a keep your space in our queue lines, six feet between you and your group and other guests and employees. So they are continuing to remind people and they do have the markers on the ground to indicate to keep your distance from the groups in front of you. Another hand sanitizer station. That's the exit from the water park, but next to us is the queue line for Viper. And coming up here, we get a good view of the corkscrew at Max Force. I've ridden on this once. Another notice to keep your distance. And here they don't have anyone since the main park is the entrance to this now. So we just walk on through. I'm gonna go through the pinky colored one. All right. We are officially now in the water park. So let's go see what rides are operating, how busy it is, what food places are open, what stores might be open. We've got Island Traders is open. Lots of fun in the sun items here. And water play stuff. I wonder if you're allowed to play with that stuff here. Lots of sunglasses if you forgot your sunglasses. Hand sanitizing station. Many locations in the park, such as retail shops, restrooms, and restaurants will operate at reduced capacity. Please keep the six foot social distancing. So there are some people here, but everyone seems to be maintaining their distance. Food places are open and the lines are pretty short. This is the area you can get pizza and hamburgers and chicken burgers. And I think there's a salad on the menu somewhere. Chicken strips. The tube rental place is not open, so you cannot get your own tube. The ice cream place that has drinks and ice cream and pretzels and nachos, that's open. They do have life vests available. Unused life or used life vests get put in there for sanitation. There's a shark. Ah! Treasure chest over next to Skull Island is open. Let's go take a look around Skull Island and see how busy it is. Hand sanitizing station right there. More life jackets with a used life vest area. We've got not a whole lot of people in here and everyone seems to be able to maintain distance. We're gonna walk around. This side is fairly empty. Actually, it is empty. <laughs> if fairly means 100%, then yes, it is fairly empty. People with inner tubes up there, so those slides are open. Over here is empty. There are so many seats available and no one playing on this side in the water park. Outside of Hurricane Mountain, which is there's four slides over there. It has a sign to keep your space. And if you look in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, but they do have markers on the ground for keeping your distance. Plenty of life vests available. Over here by the Wahoo Racers entrance, there's another sign about keeping space. So these are open as well. And it is 
these slides that you have a mat and you go down on a mat and there's a group coming down I have not been on these actually you can see some kids walking along but not a huge amount over here is definitely a little busier but you do have spaces all in the back and this little area is available there is no one over here right now lots of space even in the um, splash pad and a hand sanitizing station. They do still have the smoking section set up. You have to be inside the blue line. They have some tables and chairs. The sand area is open and fairly empty. This is not an entrance for the way, uh, for the Lazy River, but this is part of the Lazy River. And there aren't that many people eating in here, so there's plenty of space to stop and eat. We're gonna cross over the bridge, which goes over the Lazy River and we are going to see what is over on this side. So here is the entrance for the big blue and yellow tornado. Across from that is the ones up there which are Bahama Mama and Bubba Tubba. There's another social distancing sign in front. Looks like the beachside bar is open and I'm kind of craving those fish tacos so I'm gonna see if I can do an order of the fish tacos online. Sadly, they didn't have my fish tacos, but they do have fish and chips. So I'm gonna get the fish and chips. And I put in the order and I'm just waiting for them to prepare it. And then I just need to pick it up and go sit down. I am now, whoa, sitting down. So I'm gonna take my first mask break so I can eat. I'm a little sweaty. I should have brought a towel or something to dry off a little. I got napkins now I'll use a napkin all right let's look at this fish and chips this is still a lot of fries but I'll probably eat a bunch of them and then it's got two fairly big portions of fish it came with the tartar sauce and it has a little to-go box so if I don't finish it I can take it with me let's try some of the fish it's good I mean it tastes like what you would expect from a breaded fish it's not too fishy so it's definitely a decent fish it's good food so I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna eat and then we'll explore the rest of the area thankful I was eating my fries because there's lemon in here to squirt the lemon on as well they really did provide everything in here they did indicate online that for all of the food places they would not have their condiments and utensils and napkins sitting out that they were going to give them to people as requested. So it's good to see that all of this was in here because I wouldn't even have thought to ask for a lemon, but they provide the lemon and the tartar sauce. So if I'd wanted ketchup for my fries, I would have had to ask for ketchup. Definitely too hot to finish all of these fries, but I did finish off my fish. Finished eating, I got a refill of my Coke. We're gonna head out and see what else we can find. This is the entrance to the wave pool, which is titled simply Hurricane Bay. And there's not a whole lot of people in here. Seats are a little crowded, but there's plenty of space in the pool to do distancing. This is the other entrance to the Hurricane Bay wave pool, which is on this end. It stops right there. And you can see the seats are reasonably spaced apart in groups quite a bit taken though right now though the waves will not be operating due to illinois safety guidelines so it is just a zero depth pool at this point more of keeping your space while in the pool signs over here at riptide paradise plunge all of these appear to be going so you pick up your tube here there's distance markers on the ground and you can go down, although it looks like on the stairs there's not a huge amount of spacing, but it could be groups, I just can't quite tell. There we go, we got a group coming in. Over here we have a hand washing station, which I think I am actually going to use. It does not appear to be super busy on the Lazy River. There is plenty of space between groups going. So this would be a good place to just sit back and relax. So we came down these stairs. Up there is where those Riptide Plunge uh, water slides are. Over here is Cast Lazy River Castaway Creek. So this is where you would enter 
to go on the lazy river and more distancing stickers on the ground and a sign to remain six feet apart. And throughout the entire park, plenty of life jackets and a place to put the used ones. This is the entrance to the tornado ride. Back there is the lazy river. So they have marker spacing and it's actually not far, of a, not that long of a line because you get your tube and then go up the stairs. And I don't really see anyone on the stairs right now. Shot of the main walkway, not a huge amount of people on the main walkway. We just have one more area to check out, which is over by the main pool. So we're gonna head back that way, which is behind Welcome the shop. I take it back. <laughs> this is the only entrance to get over there. So all of the main pool area is closed out. Oh, it looks like they're doing construction over here. So maybe that's why it's closed out. Ooh, I wonder what's gonna happen over here. I'm excited to hear. So the watering hole, as I said before, is open. The Dippin' Dots place is open. Seats available, obviously six feet apart. Oh, just to walk through, that would be awesome. El Mercado is not open. So not every store is, but there are enough stores that you can get some merch. Uh, let's just stare at Raging Bull for just a moment, just to enjoy seeing it in person. It's just really nice to be walking through the park and having like no one around, even though the rides aren't going. I still feel really awesome just enjoying the scenery here. I missed this before, but this bench is not in use. Too close to this bench. Same thing with these benches here. Use, don't use, use. And the Grand Music Hall does not have any shows going. Obviously the theme park isn't open, but even if it was, I doubt that they would have shows going. The bathrooms over there are not available. We have a mask break zone over here. So you can feel free to go behind the gate and sit in there and take a break from the mask. Looks like the sweet shop is open, so. I think I might go in and see about getting an ice cream with my snack because it is kind of warm. So let's go see what they might have. I did get a mango ice pop that I am going to sit back here with. So that way I'm away from the main entrance or the main walkway so I can enjoy my ice cream. I'm enjoying my ice cream bar with no way around except for a family walking by. <laughs> So I had to go back in to get this shirt because I loved the shirt when I saw it. So there's the carousel and I actually saw people up there. There's people up there. Hello! <laughs> so we got a hopeful out of some of the employees about the theme park opening and they're up in the carousel looking around so maybe they're preparing it to open. I'm going to keep my eye on the news for Six Flags this time and now that our passes are updated I should be getting notified of things. We'll see. I gotta go see if the bathrooms are open. They would use the bathrooms right around the corner there and the Six Flags store is open up front as well. So there are plenty of merch perch opportunities. Also forgot to note that the area that was closed off does have these few water slides. These are just the floor dropping out water slides and then that one is a little tornado. So those are also closed along with the pool and the little play zone in there and I believe the waterboarding. I'm out front of the park and taking a mask break now that no one's around. So let's talk some details about today's visit. One, sad that the theme park isn't open but thankfully at least something is open, the water park. It's a great time to come to the water park because July, end of July and August are pretty hot months. They've been open for about a week so it'll be about a four or five week amount if they're able to stay open given whatever happens but enough time to get the kids maybe to the pool to enjoy a day at a water park before going back to school with that being said though i'm not 100 percent sure how kids would handle it there's plenty of space to allow for spatial distancing but i'm not sure if the kids fully understand i do think that there was plenty of space though in between people in the different areas now with that main pool being closed though, you have less capacity, but I think that they're still gonna base it off of the 25% of the capacity of what is open. It was in the 80s and it's kind of humid today. I am sweating and the mask is hot. So if you have breathing problems or 
you overheat or have heart issues, I would definitely not recommend coming because unless you are in the water, you are supposed to wear a mask. The food pickup was easy with the mobile ordering. Didn't have to wait in line, didn't have to do a whole lot of touch points. The food is in closed containers, pre-packaged before handing it to you so that there's minimal contact with the actual food. It was just a really good day just getting here, just being here. I'm really sad to leave, but I can't walk around the whole park because they have the park closed off. So otherwise I probably would have. Today is a Wednesday, so it is the middle of the week. So this is probably one of the lighter days. I went on yesterday to reserve my spot today and I was able to get it. There were a lot of spots available. And I do believe they are capping the amount of members in so that they do allow ticket holders to come in. I did see that Saturday was completely booked. There was no availability. Sunday did, but not Saturday. So if you are looking to come on a weekend, I would probably come on a Sunday versus a Saturday because you're probably gonna have less people. The other water park in Rockford is actually open right now as well. So we are planning to hit that up. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> I'm doing these by myself to see how the water parks are before we even entertain the idea of taking the kids. But until then, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker. Taz in the window. Here's Bug. Hey Daffy, what's going on? Hello Pepe. How are you doing Pepe Le Pew? Hello Foghorn Leghorn. How are you doing? Hey sweetie. I thought I saw a pretty pet. And he's right there trying to eat you.